probably need to get us a. I don't know. No, the light looks straight now. Yeah, they actually do look pretty straight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm straight. Alright. How long you wanna talk for? Uh I guess yeah, this I mean this is the first episode. This is the first one. Fine. What's the what's the name I come up with? Uh I get comfortable. Iron Man. Name Tony man, I keep that Iron Man. I'm Batman. Black Bruce Wayne man. Like I'm Yeezy man. My king shit. On my marble shit, my dick wet Cause your girl wet, do the math bet Morph a nigga, I'm a ranger nigga Like these army niggas, thrill nigga On this danger nigga, know this beat nigga I'm the MJ, he don't know about me Just know that he the GOAT and y'all gon' know about me R.I.P. the MJ, he don't know about me Just know that he the GOAT and y'all gon' know about me I went rogue in this What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar Neos. This is the nice little cozy setting we're gonna have, and uh, this is anime spectrum. This is something I mean. Well, damn, I done took. T- 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 <laughs> we start over. I done messed it up already. I done messed it up already. Where are you gonna go? Yeah. Uh, we do, we do Kentucky. That's Ken- my, uh, Kentucky. It's talking. Make sure you're talking to Mike. Cause I yeah, yeah, my bad. It's Kentucky. Uh, I was gonna say Kentucky Streams because it was no, Kentucky, dude. but it's it's Kentucky. Um. It is Kentaku Streams right now because I ain't changed the name. But it's about to be Kentaku or something. It's Kentaku Streams right now. So Make sure you talk like make sure you talk with confidence, Confident, man. Confident, yeah. Cause cause I ain't. I ain't <laughs> <laughs> we going to edit uh, that part out. <laughs> no, we go, I'm probably going to keep it in and just beep out your name. Beep out my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, everybody know me. It's your host, Luna Neos, a.k.a. The Real DJ Pooh. This is Anime Streams, and we are coming to you live in... Live the, at uh, um, what, what time is it? Uh, two thirty-seven a.m. <laughs> Night out. Mm-hmm. We live in the village. Uh, so if I look tired, I am. I'm tired. If he fall asleep on the stream, y'all, is is a wrap. I'm putting it all through the damn fucking. You no know, niggas drag you through the mud. <laughs> Don't get caught slipping. Oh man, so uh, this I guess I guess this would be considered a podcast. Another another version of a podcast uh this is more like a chill cast there we go yeah it's our first time trying this so we're going uh trying to get into the groove and see what, what yeah see if to. folks fuck with it because like i got the me and me and soul got the you know the geek and pop culture stuff going on but now we can talk about anime and video games good old like, anime talk, i mean i Damn, I don't fuck up his name. You can call that everybody <laughs> name, boy. <laughs> it's cause I know y'all are uh, y'all actual name. This is gonna be new. Soul, he uh, he knows like he plays games and stuff too, but he doesn't play like JRPGs. You know what I'm saying? He kind of sticks to just shooters. He played Genshin, not Genshin Impact. He plays Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima, fly. Uh, but, but I he, still ain't played the campaign, but that multiplayer. Wait, you ain't played? How you not played the campaign? Cause I got addicted to the multiplayer when it the came out. The multiplayer, man. You see, didn't I, like the multiplayer, man. The multiplayer was jumping. Bro. It's jumping, but I, when I when I played it, I had platinum ghost. Oh yeah, platinum the campaign. So, yeah, so yeah, you was I, using so it for the campaign. Yeah, then. so no, but you know the multiplayer came came. No, later it on, came dude. out later. Yeah, that, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I, I had, got it. I got it when the multiplayer was already out. Oh, you got it when it was just a campaign. I had pre-ordered. Ghost was like the most so, anticipated game I was waiting on last year. You get a DLC. Yeah, I, I don't, that's, that's the thing. I don't know if I want to uh, get it. You on the fence about the DLC? I want to play. I know I want to play, but I don't know if I want to like splurge thirty just for yeah, okay, yeah, 20, just for you know an hour, two two hours. Well, how many hours of content is it? That's the thing. They said it's like another like fifteen to twenty five. Like, damn, no, that's worth it, then, G. But all the stuff that you're paying for, they already gave it to us for free. Like this, the sixty. Uh, FPS. I got that a uh, free update on my PS. Like I had already yeah, beat Ghost. Yeah, yeah, I had already beat Ghost. So like the, the a, like actual paying shit. for the PS5 native version, is not worth it. Like to well, I don't know. I ain't gonna say it's not worth it, but I don't know if I should do it because I already platinumed it, and like all the PS5 updates I already got previously. Like for well, 
I don't think it's 4K60, but I think it's like 2K60 on PS5, and then now on, I mean, on, on backwards compatible, but now it's native 4K60. Right, You see right. what I'm saying? But I still got the, I've already experienced the 60, but by the time I got that update, I had long beat it. Like, I beat it, when it came out, I played it like nonstop. And so, not, like, yeah, first, so like. The first week he was out of that. I I put like I cherished the fuck out of it, but the first week I like was playing it, and then like the second week I went back and um like just got everything I missed, 100%. which yeah, which okay. wasn't a lot because I was like so thorough when I was going through. I didn't I didn't want to miss a, a sword. I didn't want to miss not looking like that nigga during <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was just like when they gave us all this, I was like, that's cool, but. The multiplayer was fun for a little bit, but I didn't stick to it. Like, I don't know, multiplayer games like that, I don't really stick to. No, I was fucking with that multiplayer hard, bro. That shit went hard. So Especially you, when you had a little group of people. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I didn't have a group of people to play with. Who was you playing with, AD? Um, I actually wasn't even playing with Adrian. I had found some randoms, and I had, and we had made a little party because we did real Damn, good. And I was just playing with the randoms. See, I played the little... Jumping. I played the little tutorial and that was it. Cause, uh, so basically, um, it takes like so a few elements from the campaign too. Like, uh, so you know, in the campaign you have the different styles. Yeah, I with seen the Up, down, left, right on the D pad. Mm -hmm. Change your style, like the water style. Yeah, I seen all that. All that. I seen you all that. You get different weapons, and each weapon, uh, typically each weapon is locked towards one style, but then they have like the higher grade weapons, and they have this one sword that can swap between all four styles. You know, um, depending on which type of enemy you're fighting, the other style is better for it. And yeah. Like that. So, yeah. It was lit, though. Then they had, like, the, um, each, they had uh, different classes, like the archer class. And the yeah. Specials. Depending on which special, um, which class you had, you, you get a special, like, the archer could kill, like, three or four people at once. No, I seen, I tried, like, you know, the two, they make you try all of them. All of them in the tutorial. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. I tried them out. The I picked tutorial. the, uh, who was it? I think it was, like, the straight up war. The warrior one, like the one that actually like just used straight up sword, no like gimmick or nothing, because I know it was like it was a it was like assassin and it was like a samurai. And okay. I think I picked the samurai one, but like after that, like when I beat it, um, what came out? What did I play after that? I can't remember, but I I I just know like once I beat it, oh, cyberpunk came out. No, actually, Miles came out. Like, I still ain't played Miles, bro. That's what you I've mean, been, man. I've been waiting until I get to PS5 to, to play Miles. Not no, got Spider-Man. I, I get I it. Been I get it. Because that ray tracing, like, bro, like, ray tracing. Give it its justice. And, say what? I said to make sure it, uh, it gets the justice it deserves. Yeah, like, like, um, Miles with ray tracing that in, in 60 FPS, like, that shit hit different. That shit, and I like playing. I like playing it at thirty, like just that real cinematic feel. Like I don't, I don't care for sixty. I care about all the other stuff, like four K, uh, ray tracing, like high fidelity. Like I want to see the the far off draw distance in Spider Man give you all of that. Right, right. Like Especially all of that. The rooftops and shit, bro. That game, is, and then in in the winter time, like New York looks so be like you actually feel like you in the game. Cause I I got I got the pack where it comes with Miles and the regular Spider Man, and like you like the regular Spider Man, it's it looks good, but it, it's not touching Miles. Like I don't know what's the difference, but it like you can tell they they handcrafted Miles on the PS5, and then downgraded it to the PS4. Right, right. Okay, yeah. So it sticks out. Mm -hmm. Not then when you put the two on the screen, man. Yeah. Well, we still ain't talked about no anime. We've been talking about Ghost of, Sh Ghost uh, of that's, Tsushima. See, that's why we doing this. We got like, sidetracked. That's, that's why we uh, do Ain't no sidetrack. We just here. We just, we just going with the flow, cuz. So, uh, so, so shit. That's what we, how I uh, wanted. That's, that's why I did the, the podcast with Soul. So, like, right, right. you know, this it, like I wanted an anime outlet because, like, I could talk about My Hero all day, which I'm okay with single videos, but I just ramble. And I guess, like, when I go back and watch it, me ramble i just feel like i'm just i so feel like nobody's to, getting my point across but if somebody's here when i'm rambling we need to still need to have a topic and stick to a specific well kind of topic not necessarily not really a topic but a subject can, as far as like a um 
uh, specific shows. No, no, like it's we, can, we yeah, shows, we can talk like about the different stuff. Like, like uh, we just finished watching Evangelion, the last one, the rebuild. Yeah, the rebuild one. You guys which seen if, it. Uh, yeah. A little confusing the first time through, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, yes, especially uh, the other ones that is they aren't necessary, but. It's not gonna make if you as much sense, and you're not gonna have as much appreciation. If you watch the original series, so I would recommend watching the original. If you watched it, you first. will understand the complete ending, even though they elaborate on a lot of it. You still gonna have to go and watch a video on YouTube <laughs> just to get all the answers. If I'm yeah. being real with you, <laughs> you go because it's, it's a huge ass info dump at the end, and you're just like, what? Yeah, like they said at the end, the what was the last hour at the end just dumping yeah, just a just big dumping. photo dump of like cut we, we scenes did so much stuff that first time first thing which we was we was on point for the most part as far as the general like we, idea but we, it's like we uh, got it but a lot of subtle shit i like i i like at I, the I, end when they were sitting there and the stuff in the background was flashing yeah and yeah. then like all the stuff like if you, and then like all the innuendos from the original, original one yeah yeah that i caught the second time through instead of the first time through but then again when we first watched it we was catching up and i felt like gone at the end like and i usually catch everything and i did not catch nothing the first well i caught most of it but a lot of it was like going over my head. Then I went back and rewatched it, and then I was understanding. And then like I seen stuff. Um, are we gonna do spoilers here? Are we reviewing mm. it or what? Uh, we can do. I, I can say we could. We could talk Mild about it. But we gotta go super deep, super in yeah, detail. Yeah. So the first time through, no. Let me, let me. So the second time, it's this picture in the movie, and when you watch the movie, you'll see. You don't know who the characters are except for like two of them. But at the end, another character is holding the same picture. And then you realize he's in the picture. But the first time through, I didn't see it. The second time through. Yeah, I actually I, didn't see that until you pointed yeah, it out. Yeah, I too, noticed that, that, that it was, that was a, a... a fourth character in there. And it's just like, oh, shit. That's why they know each other. They kind of don't elaborate on how the hell... She's able to do that yeah, exactly, but when but but all that goes out the window when you see the picture. When you, yeah, yeah. And she's yeah. the only one that's not a clone. Like she's like she's actually like. So she she's just hopping through time. Yeah, like her her Evangelion, like she. That, she that's said, why I can exactly that makes sense why it it got her OP. Evangelion was the final Evangelion so. But she can't use it unless hers eats the other one. Eat and like, well, say eat, but it's combining. Like, it's fusing. That's why the title was 3 plus 1. 1.0. And see, if you go back and oh, think about shit. it, her <laughs> Evangelion <laughs> say, I didn't catch was that. already three of them, and she had to eat the last one. And that's how it broke the curse. Well, not the curse, but it broke the time loop. And right, so right. She, she's able to exist outside She of was now. the key, and then him being selfish is the key is the key yeah because because yeah. even though he did all that he was still gonna be trapped yes he is shinji. And, and then she was able to save him yeah. at the end. we're talking about shinji if you if you watch evangelion you like know the, the worst movie. anime character ever no the dad is the worst anime character ever I mean, yeah he he's the worst dad <laughs> but like if you like depending on shinji to come save your ass you fuck yeah you Shinji he is fucked. Shinji is he the let your worst. Ass get ate up first, and, then, the and then get he, the wheel to fight. <laughs> he gonna end the damn. He gonna fucking end the world four times before he saved. Yeah, we in the fourth. No, he gonna end it. The what, what was the the original trilogy? He ended it twice. Then no, three times, and then it's, a, it's a, he ended it between the movies. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, and, and, and for anybody it, that don't know, so. They had the original run. I think that was, was it 26 episodes? Yeah, it was 26, 26 episodes. 26 episodes, and they came out with, like, three movies. Yeah. Um, I know they had the the uh, the end of Evangelion. Um, the true, uh, it was Death True, and then. Um, I know, I think it was one more. Yeah, So, but it's it's four, like, it, like how it's four movies now. It was, it was four, four back, back then. then, but it was a series and then three movies. But. When you go back, you got to watch the series all the way up to episode 24, stop, and then you start the movie. 
Yes. So because, the uh, because if you watch like just a season by itself, it's its own timeline. Right. Right. And that's one. And something time. interesting about the show too, like the director was uh, like having like a mental breakdown or something. Yeah, he was while telling he was me that doing it. And that's kind of why we got the whole rebuild and all this other stuff going on because it, it wasn't his um his uh, true form. Yeah, he rushed the ending. For the show. He rushed the his ending. His true ending. It was like the ending that he gave us he in to the properly express himself. Yeah, the ending that he gave us in the original show was just an ending that he came up with last second. But he always said like it's not what he wanted, and then the anime blew up. Like, the anime took over. So then he came back with the movies, and then he told everybody not to watch episode 25 and 26 and to go watch the ep- the um movies all the way through. And then that's the true ending to the series. But then he's, he put in, like, a little thing to where if you stop halfway through the last movie of the original timeline and then watch episode 26, I mean, 25 and 26, that's another ending. Ending. And then... It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's... it's uh, this shit worse than Fate. And Fate got a lot. And Fate do got a lot. Yeah. Fate got a shit ton of guys. I recommend Fate, by the way, if y'all ain't seen oh, it. Oh, man. Fate Zero movie? or Fate Stay Night. Uh, really, All of them. I would say start with Fate Zero just because that's the first. It's the beginning of the timeline. Technically, it's the first one on the timeline yeah. and then from there really it, it doesn't really matter because it, they no, all no it does matter you they all go, jump you gotta go fate zero fate stay night og 2006 fate stay night i think it's on crunchy roll there's no co- there's no cohesive story between the three there's it's like a um um it's it's basically a role playing game um it's a, rpg but basically like if you if you play video games and then our, my rpg players know uh, you could play a game and get one ending, and then go back and get another ending, and go back and get the third ending. And, and a lot of you... uh, JRPGs are um, obsessed with this whole dating simulation, to where you pick a um, pick a female character for your guy to fall in love with, and depending on the character you get, the, the, outcome, the outcome of the game changes. So that's and what that's, fa- that's how fate how started. That's how like the original novel was got a... turned into one of those games first no yeah no it was the novel was the game yeah. like you just read through it but it was a psp game and so fate z fate PC2. stay night the 06 anime is the first ending in of the game a limited blade works the movie or the series i prefer the series over the movie is the second ending with the second love interest and then heaven's field the three movies is the third ending in the video game but each series and each in each uh route in the video games they're called routes uh build up off each other like um near autonomous endings like they build up like so when you start phase zero they kind of like give you everything slow I me mean, not phase zero when you start fate stay night 06 it gives you everything slowly introduces everybody and then slowly builds up to like the big outcome. But when you start Fate uh, Unlimited Blade Works, it understands that oh, you know about these characters already, so they skip introductions and people just pop up, and you pick up and you learn even more stuff that you didn't learn in the original route, the uh, the the Stay Night route with um the week ending. But you get the true ending, but like the worst bat, like it's 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 a lot. And like for instance, you might have two characters, so you might have um, Archer and Saber, and they might not, they might never fight in one version of the but show. They but they fight in the next but version. In the next version, they fight. And then when you get to the Heaven's Field route, which is the third outcome, it it understands that you know who everybody is, what what's going on, who's what, what's going like, who's who. Who team up with who? So it just throws you into the mix. But with that being said, it gives you all the secret stuff that the first two in the first two playthroughs and or the first two anime seasons like hinted or like give you subtle stuff about, but you don't know about it. And then the 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 heavens feel just like oh yeah remember that one thing that you thought about yeah heavens feels kind of dark too yeah man way. it's the dark your discretion outcome. is advised <laughs> it is the it's like worse than M rate like 
It's damn near, goddamn. Got a grape scene in there almost. <laughs> Be careful. No, ain't no almost. It is in there. Um, it's it's that 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 whole route just heaven spill. It's not heaven spill. It should be called devil <laughs> devil spill or some shit. It's it's awful, bro. Um, but yeah, like they they all build up on each other. So you get the best like experience if you do fake zero. Start at 06, which the is the regular route, unlimited blade works route, heaven spill route, and then you culminate all that together, and you can be, you gonna really be a fan. And then from there, you're in the Natsu verse. Is that the creator's name, Natsu? Yeah, you're in the Natsu verse. So then, when you watch other Fate series, you know what timeline it takes place in because people may be happy, and there is no war going on, or the war did happen and they hint about it or the war hasn't happened yet but you see certain characters from the future that's fixing it, like that's fixing the hat like you know where you're at in the timeline in the three timelines which the uh, to me unlimited blade works timeline is the best because that's where all the other shows build up all uh, built up from because they were able to save the real world and then you get into like the cyber stuff and then they time travel and, i guess we um, probably should have gave a, like a quick uh synopsis of the show too so basically um they have these magicians who summon these um servants who this, are actually heroes from the past and they yep. can be um from um any type of um f folk tale or um um, different type of country like like, uh, um, like King Arthur we're not going right. to tell you who King Arthur is because that gives it away but King Arthur's in it Medusa's in it Gilgamesh is in it from Hercules ancient, yeah uh, and, and, uh, shows, and obviously all these characters got their own spin um, on them like so how they I, do it yeah um, not direct Lancelot uh, who else I, I'm trying to think of the other uh, um, the other show characters uh Damn, I can't think. Uh, you got um, Jack the Ripper's in it. Uh, um, and then depending on like what country they're from, like Siegfried. Say, say they're from America, but they get summoned in Japan. If people in Japan doesn't know their folklore, they're not as strong, so that it weakens them. So like the and then say the mage that summoned them doesn't know how like doesn't have a lot of like mage powers. They're also weakened. So, yeah, they're, they're, of, their powers are based on based on their folk tale. Yeah, no, um, it's based on the folk tale folk. and the mage that summons them, like how strong they are. So you can hinder your guardian spirit, and they can be weak as fuck. But if they was in America and everybody know, like let's say who's in America, like that's a, like say they summon George Washington. If he was in America and you say, oh, that's George Washington, then then he's like he get a power boost. And say you're in England. Or like anybody, like say you say, "Oh, that's Medusa," and you know Medusa's folk folk tale, she gets a power boost. And then say that her master is a strong ass mage, then she get another power boost. And that's how they scale everything in the show. So it's pretty dope. When you when um when I learned that, I, I thought that was pretty dope. The show is not really balanced though, because uh, you'll quickly find out that uh, certain characters will just run through <laughs> other people. Anytime they, anytime they get they caught show, lacking, man. Anytime they show a goddamn, it's two niggas, a berserker <laughs> and, and Gilgamesh. Oh man, Them niggas is on a whole nother scale, especially that nigga Gilgamesh. Yeah, Gilgamesh is the problem through most of the series. Through every series, they yeah. they they literally have to Gilgamesh and 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 Archer. Archer is the key to everything, but Gilgamesh, they always coming up with some ungodly plan to to kill him, and it still don't work. And you be sitting there like, how? How yeah. is this even possible? Did you um did you watch the um the one where um I, it, it was fate? I don't think it's Grand Order, but it's another version of it where Gilgamesh is actually alive. Alive? Yes, it's back when he was in like the ancient. That is Grand Order. Is that Grand Order? That okay. is Grand Order. Gr so no, so Grand Order had um, I got confused because Grand Order had a movie. They had a movie. Yeah. They had, I think they had two shows. 
No, they got a show and two specials. Two specials, okay. So like that's the special, got, like you gotta watch, you gotta watch Fate Grand Order First Mission, and then okay, it, I it, seen that one. It's the hour long movie. Yeah, and then and where, then you um, start the show. The Lancer was the uh, he was a maid. He was a caster. He came yeah, as a yeah, caster yeah, 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 yeah. in the movie. You know, Lancer can be a uh, berserker Lancer, too. Berser- yeah, 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 Lancer can be, can be a, a lot of berserker. them. Yeah, yeah that's, they always do my nigga to uh, Lane wrong. He, he's supposed to be. They clean. did him slapping. Yeah, he get dirty. He, let's just get done dirty every almost every. He do round, get. He cause... do get dirty. Like they did him the worst in Heavensfield. Yeah, yeah Heavensfield. He they they fucked him up. But he turned up in Blade Works. Oh yeah. Oh yes. He turned up yes. in Blade, and he turned yes. up in um. He was getting in our chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Zero. He turned up in Zero too. Zero too. Yeah. Zero. Boy. He actually uh technically. He beat Saber. He, he won. If it wasn't for he that won. thing, he, he beat won. Saber. He won. He, he messed up he, on. They, uh, they fucked up. Yeah. They fucked up on that one. Yeah. And, but who, then he got done dirty as hell. <laughs> ain't nobody got done dirty like Ryder. Ryder got the worst in Zero. In Zero? Oh, let me, what happened in um? Remember, it was it was not it's not Ryder that be tooting her ass up. It was the dude Ryder. Oh yeah, they had he the did. young kid. They did. He him. did. He That's what MVP. the mage thing kind of, kind of. He was him MVP over. all season, bro. Yeah. He cut cut just wanted to live his life, play the PlayStation, bro. <laughs> He's a real nigga. I felt that. Cut bought the uh, PlayStation one, not two. Cut said, "Hey, you you see this game? You can travel the world in it." I felt it when he said that. I was like, "Hell yeah, man!" Uh, damn. We all over the place. We well, is all over um, the place, cuz. Um, what, what else? You got? Um, Evangelion, that, uh. Damn, what did I tell you? What? Oh! Uh. I think we should tell people about, like, Gong's dad. How people, how, uh, how it's really the auntie who ain't shit. Yeah, <laughs> the hunter, hunter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, uh. You got, uh. Uh, so if y'all go read them, so this is one thing I don't like about the the 2011 anime, they didn't put the episode, they didn't put the stuff in the manga or the original show. You can go watch the original show, where Kite comes and like he he's on Well Island, like all that flashback stuff that was in Chimera and Art, uh, all that stuff happens in the manga, and Kite comes, and he's the one that tells gone about gene gene now this is what the the anime doesn't tell you it was his auntie who who lied to gone about his daddy so his daddy really isn't his dad is shit like he is not he he's not as horrible as they made him seem and in the hunter world, y'all know that like it's like being in the military and being like an astronaut and being like an archaeologist and being like just all this stuff that like you you travel and you're away from your family for a long ass time. But with Jean, his sister hates him, so she kind of scares him. She scares him off basically, and he doesn't. Like, he was traveling with Gone. When Gone was born, he was traveling the world with Gone. That's how he already knew about, uh, that's why his name was already in Greed Island on his, like, little thing, his little player list or whatever. Like, Gone was with his pops, and then his auntie made him give, give him up. And then, like, as he was getting older, she was lying about it. That's why when the grandma says, like, his, like, his dad's, like, um, his dad, uh, what his dad do isn't a secret to the family. It's not a family secret. And I never understood that part, but it's in the manga because she was lying to him. And so, like, she never even told him about, like, she just think, like, she just told Gone that his dad was, like, gone and didn't care about him and, like, just was a Debbie. But Kite was the one saying, like, no, nah, your dad is amazing. Your dad do this. He just stay busy. And then what the anime doesn't say is that he has anxiety. And so he was nervous about meeting Gong because of what his sister was telling him. And so, I mean, I I feel for Gene because I know a bunch of single fathers out here that probably want to see their kid and the mama or whoever keep him from. That nigga Goku ain't shit. He don't (laughs) never take care of his kid. And he killed himself for his son. 
And that's another thing. Like, they give shit to Goku, but... Like, his kids are old enough to, like, do whatever now. Piccolo raised your son, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he really did, though. Who, Piccolo? Piccolo no, but he gun. made the promise to him. Yeah, he did. He died. So, like, who else? And he already knew what cheats you. He wanted Piccolo to protect him because they was after Gohan. Right now, you're right. You're so, right. like, every like if you go back and actually, like, see what's going on, like, Goku kind of not bad either in the circumstances or whatnot. I just hate how stupid they made him, like. Dragon Ball Z did this whole character growth for Goku. Oh, man. Don't even get started. Just for <laughs> Super to fucking fuck it up. I hate that. That's one thing I hate about Goku Super. Goku do be doing some dumb ass shit. For no reason. For like, no they reason. reverted him back to, like, Dragon Ball days. And it's like, for what? Like, it's really? not. You're a sensu bean. Like, it's not. It's, I, don't, I don't like Like, you ain't that. trying to kill everybody. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else? Are you getting that Tales of Ross? Ah, uh, it looks really good. Um, but the reviews hasn't been that great. But I'm going to check it out myself. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. But it looks nice now. It looks good as fuck. It looks but good like as hell. It's pretty Everybody fuck, no like on the flip flop. Like everybody flip flopping about it. I'm nervous to spend that money. Because they, they said they say that uh, it looks good, but like the systems and stuff is kind of outdated. outdated. Like every, yep. it's, it's still a Tales game. Yep, which. Yep. I'm cool, I'm with, cool that. with it. I'm with it too. Cause I had I got Berseria and I got yeah Vesperia. I like I like Vis, uh, Vesperia. I never beat Vesperia, but I got pretty far up in it. Yeah, see, I, I, like I did that. That was me with um. Berseria. That's the one with the dog, right? What Berseria? Vis Vesperia. No, best Berseria with the chick. The chick is the main. Character. I'm talking about the, no, no, no. I'm talking about the guy with the. He got long black hair and he got the dog. Um, Ruff, Ruff. I think that's Symphony. Uh, Tell the Symphony. That's Symphony. Are you right? Yeah, it's a bunch of Tales games. Yeah, I got I just got Symphonia for PC. Um, and I'm trying to hold off on it for the Steam. It's day. so, so long. RPGs are so long. All of them are long. Uh, what else? Symphon like um, Tales games. I just bought back Destiny because they dropped the damn trailer for Savathun. For the next, <laughs> bro, it's been. I gotta get seven caught long. up, bro. Me, bro, I'm so lost in that bitch. I gotta get but caught up. When I'm playing, it's just like I remember why I left. But then, like, when I'm doing the story stuff, I'm like... Damn, my level's so damn low now, I bet. Bro, mine is, too. I just want to raid. I just want to do a couple raids, get back into it. I want to rebuild my clan. Um. Oh, they got they got it to where, like, you can cross-play now. Like, I've seen you that. You can act play with, like... It's like Activ how Activision got Call of Duty. You can do that with Destiny now. Like, you can play with PC people, Xbox people. Um, Stadia I'm on there. get shot up by PC niggas. Man, what? But you can turn it off, though. You can just, like, not play with PC people. I'm probably going to cut cut the PC off. But, no, I um, I I, I just want to get back in the lore. Because that was one thing about Destiny that I love was the lore. And just all the stuff that you think is going on, like, behind the scenes. I just wish they would have gave us, like, cut scenes and stuff for that. Like, that's one thing about Destiny that, like, I wish, like, they would pick up from, like, Final Fantasy. But now that they, it's just them, they can't really do too much. I just hate that it went to seasons. Like, I hate that season shit. I feel like the season stuff, that's what ruined it. And when they, like, took, like, sunsetted your weapons, the first round. Even though they, they backtracked and said that, oh, that we're not going to do sunset no more. But all the weapons that. That they already sunsetted are, the it, are still gone. And <laughs> it's just like. All the weapons, bro, you know how I was on Destiny. That was my life. Yeah, you was on it. The hardest for, hit when it first came out. Like six years, bro. And just everything just gone. And I don't know, bro. It's just like my heart. Like I could, I could, every time I play, I still feel my heart being gone. But I'm still enjoying it because when I play like Call of Duty, it's just like, I don't know. I'm just naturally good. Like I don't feel like. It's a real challenge, like how Destiny PvP was. Like when I play against somebody on Destiny, like they made me sweat. But if I, I play against that. somebody in Call that. of Duty, it's either you got a good lobby or you don't. You either got sweaty tryhards or like you can actually like run through them. It's no in between. The kill time in uh in um Call of Duty is so much faster mm -hmm. uh, than Destiny. So it's like almost if they run into. As long as they're a decent shot, it's like whoever sees who first. Basically, is it basically? And I hate the hardcore because it's just one bullet, and it's literally like whoever sees She's each other. Burst. Yeah, and so well, unless they're a shitty shot. Yeah, and with Destiny, it's just like 
Somebody can see you first and start shooting, but you can be better. Than yeah, them. you can be. You can, yeah, and you can, can maneuver. Out, yeah, yeah, you can, can outmaneuver them. Uh, exactly. Pop what, a super right. shotgun. Shot, you, you yeah, know you what can. Saying? Like it's get a little so combat roll. Yeah, you got a bunch of ways to get out of the situation. Yeah, or turn and, invisible, and dip out on their ass right. or some shit. Like, get a get you to throw a knife that you exactly. could do your ability. There's so many ways. So many ways to, to like come back against somebody. That I feel like I'd at the same time too though they get that they get to going and they got a good gun and they got like a nice ass perk. Woo! Them exotics, <laughs> but see that's another thing I miss exotics because it's like yeah Call of Duty got fancy skins but they all the same. And but with Destiny, if you know somebody got a good gun, if they got a good roll on that gun over there, oh, yeah, you. or what exotic they using, and it just when you when you see that when you getting shot by an exotic and it do like its special trait. It just it just feel like some about that just it's, like it do just feel like, it feel like, different it hit different for sure yeah like you get hit and you be like this motherfucker using a thorn uh, <laughs> you get popped in your head explode this nigga got the ace of spades like you just you can't even be I mad fuck with the ace of spades that hand cannon that's my shit that's bro, my main that's, that's my been, main actually that's what I've been using since I've been back because like all my good old in the crucible ooh, I used to be I ain't even been in, I ain't the touched the crucible, crucible yet. I used to be raw as hell in the crucible. You know that's a uh, that's a PVP weapon. No, yeah, the Ace of Spades. No, yeah, yeah. I mean you can use it for PVE, but, but it's that, really been, good for PVP. No, that like I've been using it for PVP. I mean PVE because like when you get the headshot, it, it like yeah, explodes. Right. So and then it's they stacked. made it to where like every reload, you automatically get your six get the uh, you get those yeah the, the so, bullets. So like I've been clearing ass and stuff like with it, and it feels good. But like I don't want to get back to where I'm just using one gun again. Right. So I've been trying different stuff, different and stuff. I just got a I just got a, a legendary SMG. Those hand cannons are a little different though. Like if you want a main hand cannon, you might want to use that one for a while because you it got the depending on the hand no, cannon, but, the fire rate's no, no, different. No, 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 it is. But with the Ace of Spade, it just felt like at home. Like when I jumped back in, yeah, I was like, stuff on that one. yeah, it's like I was just like, oh, so. this is this is comfortable. Let me let me use this for a minute. But I'm starting to venture off with the new guns, and it just gave me this SMG, this energy SMG. It's from year one, but they got new perks and stuff on it. And when I was using it, I was like, oh, this bitch busting. Like, it got, like, multi-kill clip on it and rampage. But what sucks about the weapons now is that all the perks, like, rampage and, and kill clip, they nerfed it all. So they don't do nowhere near... And all the reload perks, like see, um, I don't remember the original um, stats for those perks. But so. uh, like, if I like, um, I ain't feeling your pain as much on if, the nerves. If you um, if you stay, I'll show you like the um, like when you reload, it's not. I look you sleepy can, as hell on this camera. Yes, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I ain't even front you. Yeah, you look dead. I look dead. But uh. <laughs> when you reload, it's not as fast. Like I remember all the how it was before I quit. So when I reload, it's not as fast. I'm just like, damn. Or when I when I get the headshot and you get the kill clip thing, and I go and you know back then it was super inst instantaneous like reload. Now it's kind of like, like it's faster than the normal reload, but it's not as fast as what it used to used be. Used to be right. And so like, and I'm and I'm finding myself with that. And then like certain stuff like spike grenades, they all right. It's really like um. The other perks that go with spike grenades or something. Um, rockets are good though. Like I was, um, I I had got a good rocket launcher last night, and I was able to take out like a boss with it, and actually like do some damage. So it's just it's all over the place. But I'm uh, I don't know. It's gonna be a man. I just want to play. I just want to get another raid jacket so I can have two in my collection. I feel like I'll be happy after that. Like if I after get that. and but it has to be the Savathun raid. Like I came back for this bitch. I gotta it got to be, be the new raid. I, the it new gotta, raid. Only. It got to be her raid jacket and I know her raid jacket going to be fire as fuck because they bringing everybody back. And then another reason I came back is because it's the 30 30th anniversary of Bungie. And so they bring it back the Gallahorn from D1. And they bringing back a bunch of stuff that's time like um they're trying to well they can't really use Halo, but uh they got like some Halo something in the game, but it's really Marathon. If you remember Marathon their first game. It's been a minute, I don't that it was like their first PC game. It was Marathon, Halo and then Destiny. But uh, me and me and Soul got a theory, well really me and I told him about it, that Halo Halo, Destiny 
and marathon all happens in the same timeline it's the marathon takes place millennials before halo mm. and then destiny takes place millennials after after all that like because one like the the hive and destiny is reminiscent of the flood mm-hmm, and shit in mm-hmm. and, and um halo and it's like they just evolved and then like the hive the um flood world when they explain it in Destiny, like the Hive world. Are we getting a uh, live action Halo since we're on the subject of Halo? Yeah, it's on Paramount. Coming to Paramount Plus next week, next year. Next year. I was like, next yeah. month, nigga? No, no, shit? I got to get Paramount Plus when that bitch drop. Like, yeah, this probably going to make me cop that too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I always been a rider. I actually got to catch up on the, are the you, campaign. Are you going to get a Series X or S when Halo drop? I have not decided. Because the homie I met earlier... Shout out, shout out to my nigga Oliver Queen. Uh, he said he got the S. Like he bought a PS5 and he bought the Xbox Series S and he just he loved it. He cause he just only play fours and Halo. For the Halo. But that's all I play too. But I want to see them bitches in 4K. Oh. Like I want to <laughs> see that 4K. Man, I'm tired of 1080p. I want to see. I, if I only time I want to see 1080p is my laptop and the <laughs> and the Steam Deck. <laughs> Other um, than that, it's 4K all around. Man, I want to see 4K everything, bro. But I'm, I'm debate. I'm debating on. I don't know. I feel like I I can because I can easily get a Series S at uh, at Target. They they always have them in stock. Next time we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a, a better flow for you guys. I'm set up. Uh, this is just our first test run here. Uh, yeah, all the pauses I'm cutting out, so it's okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Damn. What I was gonna say. Um. I know we could uh, probably do some. Uh, they they do some live stream. You can do uh, watch parties and stuff on uh, YouTube, YouTube and Twitch. Man, yeah, when we get our fans up, fans up, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, we just have like a um, uh, when we get more people, you just have like a movie night or something like that. Yeah, well, that's what I did on a Facebook group. Remember with Sailor Moon and the game right. and stuff, and nobody joined. I'm gonna just. I feel like I'm gonna delete that and start over because like. Um, I ain't gonna say no names, but people said they want to help me build it and stuff, and then nobody interacts. Yeah, interacted. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I f- like I want to give everybody a chance, but then again, I just feel like people like talk a good game to me, and then and don't focus, show up. Focus on they bubble, and then some pop when stuff be popping off in there with me. Then they try to come back around. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh, what else? Yeah, that's why we gotta make a list, cause yeah, we do need to make make a list and mm-hmm. run from that. Uh, probably help too if I wasn't getting getting sleepy, cause I'm definitely starting to get sleepy. You are. Yeah, and I'm I'm really it's bothering me cause I be lo- I'm looking at the uh, the screen the screen and my my eyes look low as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get us a, a I'm probably need to get us a ring light. No, I look pretty good. I mean, I mean yeah, it don't look light. bad. It yeah. don't look bad. When I go back and watch it, then I I can right. tell for real. Right. Um. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Also, too. Speaking of Steam Deck, you excited for the Steam Deck? Oh yeah, man! Steam Deck looking fire as hell, man. Uh, save you some money. Don't gotta go get the. Don't gotta drop uh two racks for a PC mm-hmm. uh, and get you one decent enough to play uh everything. what you what you want basically everything. And you can play it on the go. On, on now, you gotta be realistic with the specs, people, because I know people will be like, "I want to max that bitch up." No, that's what a PC is for. for, right? But this is like a better, like the Switch Pro we should have got. Right. Hopefully, to make Nintendo it's do not. right next time they drop it's a new not. Switch. It's not. I don't even cheap know. ass mother. F- I'm not even gonna give them. I just want and I them, fuck with Nintendo. They just cheap no, as fuck. No, I, I just want them to go ahead and port me Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. And I'd be happy. If they give me Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask with that too, I'd be even happier. But I just want them to port those two. Because all the Wii U games, they're all like, like um, an insider said that all the Wii U games are already ready to go. Like all we just, just waiting on them. Like to all support. the top selling Wii U games that they done had, like already ready to go. They just need a a, a date. And Nintendo playing. Like the like right now we're in the Zelda's thirty fifth anniversary. 
and they didn't do had nowhere near the shit that they did for Mario. Like Mario, we got a new system. We got the bundle mm. with the we got the uh, we got a game for N64, GameCube, and Wii. And then they ported uh the Wii U Super Mario Bros and added DLC to it. Like they did a lot. And then they gave us the Game and Watch and showing then, the, the the plumber mad love. Yeah, and then Zelda only got the Joy Cons, which I like them because they matched the the red the, the red Switch, and I I knew that was gonna be the only Joy Cons that matched the Switch. So I ain't got to be all red, which I don't mind all red. But and they got a, a, a Zelda Game and Watch coming, and I wished it would have put they would have put a Link to the Past on it. They put all the OG games except for a Link to the Past on it, which pissed me off. And then um, they gave a Skyward Sword, which I'm loving Skyward Sword, and I love that I can just hop on, play a couple like couple hours, and hop back off. Like that's what I like to switch for. And the Steam Deck is going to give me, like, all the, like, Steam games and, like, Japanese import games that we can't get on PlayStation. Like, um, what is it? Super Rollout Wars, um, the I 30th so anniversary. You can go back and catch up on a lot yeah, of things like, that you missed out on. Didn't hell yeah, like the Super Robot Wars uh, 30th coming out this year for the first time. Well, coming to America for the first time. And it's going to Steam only, Steam Deck. Um, I can't... I can play all my final, all the Final Fantasy games on one console, and the Steam, and the Steam got the better um, cheat codes and stuff. Unlike um, the Switch, they only got like a couple of them. Like you can get infinite money and infinite uh, items and stuff on like seven, eight, nine. Where while the Switch only nine got those cheats. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can play through the entire 13 trilogy on, on Steam with the Steam Deck. Play through my entire Fallout catalog, handheld. Like, that's, I wish it was coming out sooner so we could take it to the con. That would be nice at the con. Hell yeah. yeah. But we got to plan, we got to plan a trip. We got to plan something after the con. And now we got a tripod, we can set up shop anywhere. Yeah, most definitely for that, uh need to uh look up some similar channels that the people do similar stuff like this what do you mean like uh uh and see how their layout is well i like just i just looked at playback you know playback um I, I'm agent double zero and I know um he a he a and he a 2k streamer him and then low is his is his host and they both got separate YouTube channels, but they come together and make playback. Playback. And they just sit on the couch like this. That's why. That's what gave me the idea for this. Oh, so yeah, you gotta like me them, uh, cause I don't remember his name right now. Who, who yeah, like, like they literally. Um, it was the it was the people on my TV when you came in. I don't even remember. They, who was on your TV when you? Um, uh, but yeah, uh, they 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 just chill on the couch, and that's like that's what after we talked about doing um. When you when you brought up doing uh, show uh, reactions, and I was like that'd be dope, but I feel like copyright gonna hit my ass. Okay, yeah, I just remember them. Now. They were sitting on the uh, each. Yeah, they they like each like they like they either sit on the couch like this. And or they, they followers uh, and stuff do they get? Do they normally uh, bring you in? They got a lot. They got a lot. They got a lot. Like um, well over like. 50k 60k okay. I, they, well, I just need to watch them we need to watch i need to watch some of their videos then and just see how yeah they, I'll, they, I'll they flow is the yeah i'll show flow i'll show you their stuff yeah i'll show you their stuff they really just be chilling like like how we're doing right now that's what they do and then every now and then they bring a guest to talk to them and interview them which ain't nobody around here right to interview but the reason i like got we got the tripod though like we could go somewhere. Like I'm gonna buy another interface now that um, you know I know it worked because I don't like not having headphones that hear us. Right. But um, um, we can um, like we can interview gamers or we can. I want to do like interview like mom and pop um, pl like owners of like retro stores and stuff. Um. But. You know, we get our following up. We can do Skype interviews, like mm. how uh, how uh, Abba and Preach do. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? But 
You gotta get your, you gotta get you a, a computer or something. We're gonna do a Skype interview. Cause I don't, unless you come over here and just sit downstairs while I'm upstairs talking. I mean, no, I I got a computer. No, so. I'm saying like, like you can sit downstairs on Skype. Well, on Skype, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm upstairs on Skype, and we interviewing whoever. But uh, yeah, like they they had a couch, and then like say say we got somebody else going, we can just scoot the camera back now. And only difference is they got a sound. They got a sound guy that watches and monitors everything. Everything they're doing, right? right. And they probably instead got something of, where they, they comment. Yeah, instead like of that. me doing everything. Right. That makes sense. But we yeah. just starting out, so that's cool, though. Yeah, that's so. what I'm saying. Like, like six months from now, if we get a little following and shit, we'll be straight. And then, like, right now, like, we got we got the anime podcast and stuff for, for the geeks and dweebs and nerds. And then we got the... um. Me and Soul's podcast for, you know, the geek culture and stuff, like, you know, Marvel, DC, Star Wars and stuff. And then my solo stuff, which, sorry, everybody that's watching this, I've been missing for three weeks because nigga been sick, shit at home, um, stuff been going on. Um, one of my friends was in the hospital, um... You know, and y'all know about Soul, which his daughter's out of the hospital now. And he, like, they was resting and stuff. It's just a lot, a lot been happening. Uh, and then we would have, we would have shot this earlier, but I wanted it to look right and I didn't have a tripod. So, because, because, uh, partner Ken, Ken Dog over here, Kentaku. Why Kentaku? Ken, uh huh, and um, like um, I just took it from otaku. Uh, now otaku doesn't necessarily mean anime. It's just like are you just a fan of uh, Japanese culture. Uh, not necessarily Japanese. You can be uh, otaku of anything. That's their word for. Yeah, that's their word basically. Yeah, for like you're thing. Gundam otaku. Like yeah, you can be. Yeah. You like I would be considered obsessed. a sentai a sentai o- yeah. otaku. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've I've always seen the word. I just I never associated it with anything else. But no, I lied. I I, I did see it when I watched this one Sentai fan, and he was like, "Uh, the Sentai Otaku Cave," and it was like, "My fuck, you think I got (laughs) shit? (laughs) That nigga is my dream." Like uh, the all the bro, he had all the Ranger helmets. Oh shit! Yeah. Lined up her season. Yeah, but that was your spot then. Nigga, boy, you talking about a euphoria? Man. But, no, I get it. Like, I seen that. And then, like, um, in the some of the animes that I watched that, like, make fun of, like, the mech people that, like, yeah, they, they be, them, like, yeah. uh, you know, mech, o- what is it? Uh, the Gundam Otakus. But they say, they say something else, like, whatever their robot, the, the word they use, Otaku. I can't think of it right now. It's late, but no, that's that's the only times I ever heard it. Yeah, it's not. I just like kind of combined them because I just like all things animation, really. Mm. So. Well, my boy Kentaku over here brought this up like a week ago, week and a half ago. But I wanted to do it right. I don't want to have. I don't like half ass and shit. Which I'm glad we waited because now looking at the screen and stuff, it look it look good. It don't mm-hmm. look it don't look cheap at all. We're just going to have to not do it at, like, 3 a.m. in the morning. Why Why not, bro? All you got to do is get you some some, uh, Red Bull, get zooted, snort (laughs) snort a line of Coke. I'm just playing. (laughs) Oh, man. That's so, bro. That's so. Solo solo (laughs) snort one. Quick as hell. No, let me stop saying that, but. (laughs) (laughs) Come on, edit that part out. (laughs) I was just playing. I was just playing. No, for real. Probably he probably would back in the day. I can see him. he looked like a, <laughs> a nigga that did it back in the day. Probably not now. Wait, what, no, what, I know. What does he now. live he at? Got a, huh? What I he can't live put at? that out. I can't put that out there. <laughs> he just know he in the West Coast. That's access. <laughs> the good, he had that good clean, good <laughs> clean white coat out there. <laughs> oh man. Any games you're looking forward to, bro? The Batman game. I want that. Uh, that the God player Th- one? Yeah. Gotham, that one's going to be dr- Oh, speaking fun. of Batman, 
You see Marvel got a new game coming out? Yeah, it's called, damn, what is it called? Marvel, damn. What was, what was oh, called? is it the, um, is it like a RPG? Yes and no, 2K is making it. Yeah, and it's like you you're you're taking they they made this character, but you're you're like the you're okay, the you're the daughter or the son of Lilith, the demon Lilith in Marvel comics, and you're putting together a team to fight, um, like the mystical rent, like people that, like like people that fight like Blade and Doctor Strange oh. and stuff. But like you're teaming up with like Wolverine, Iron Man, you can get Captain. The America. Dark. No, okay, no, no. That's what I was talking about then. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. It's an RPG. I think it's, it's an RPG. It's I a, thought it was gonna be like a tactical t- game. That's what I meant. Like a tactical. That's what I meant. Like see, a um, turn-based game. It's turn-based. Yeah, I see. I don't. See, I don't like that. Yeah. Like a tactical turn-based. I want to be in there. They said they got more to show us, and that you're gonna actually be able to fight and stuff. But I don't know. They can hype some up, and then it be boo boo like Avengers like yeah, it is. I never played the Avenger ones. Like the trailers and stuff look cool. I didn't like play I didn't play I played the the, the alpha and But the, the reviews game. say otherwise. Bruh, they should have just stuck to a story game. Like it the story if it was strictly story, I would have bought it in a heartbeat and like kept the RPG elements in the story and where you mm-hmm. could upgrade like Iron Man's armor and stuff or you can work out with um Hulk and stuff. I was so excited for it, and then they said, "Oh, we're gonna put some Destiny elements in it and make it a live service game." And it's been shit ever <laughs> since, bro. Like you're not supposed to do something like that to Avengers, bro. And my dream, my my favorite company produced it, and they gave it to fucking the company that made um, Deus Machina, not Deus Machina. That's the anime. Anime. Uh, Deus Ex. I know she. Uh, Deus Ex. The most. Mankind. The nigga with the, with the, yeah, uh, yeah. Deus Ex Mankind. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. They they uh they made the game or whatever. And then it turned out like that. And I'm just like, y'all did all this story stuff. Boo boo. Huh? I said Boo boo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let them tell it. Let, let everybody else tell it. And, and it just hurt. Put the cover over there. It just it, it hurt my it hurt me, bro. Like that really that really hurt me. Cause I was like, you, you ruined, you, you ruined something that like everybody would have bought. It could have been like one of the number one games that dropped in 2020, and they ruined it. I agree. They had uh, definitely had some potential with with the uh, with that IP. Um, what else? But uh, Guardians of the Galaxy gonna jump off top. I just wish it was uh, I don't know. I feel like Guardians is on like a weird way. Everybody like overhypes them, and the Guardians that's on that's in the MCU is nothing like the Guardians in the comics. In the comics, it's a different squad. Ain't it? mm, no, what well, it's, it's, no, it was the of, same squad, them. but like how they act. Like Star Lord was Nova was a part of it. You no, know, he is like like it, well, I don't know about the iteration now, but people who've been in the Guardians was Iron Man, Nova, Thor's been in it. Um. Who else been in there? Um, I think Captain Marvel may have been in it a couple times, but I'm not talking about like who like who cycled through. I'm talking about like the attitudes. Like okay. like Star Lord isn't a comedian; he's super serious. Super serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, was super serious. Now in the now newer they, they comics, change him like yeah, the line with Chris, yeah, Chris Pratt. and, and um. Who else? Like Doctor Strange, like they, they like Doctor Strange was uber fucking serious and now looking at damn Spider Man trailer, that nigga look fucking I ain't got no worries. Like I'm not stressing. Fuck the multiverse. <laughs> fuck up the antenna incantation. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma fuck it up some more. Oh, Loki I ain't fucking shit up. My turn. <laughs> Bro, that nigga look happy as fuck. They should have threw some Tim's on my nigga. That'd have been number one New York nigga. <laughs> Um, you excited for uh Spider Man? Oh man, yeah. Talk the close to the mic. Fire. The trailer, what? 
I said the trailer looked fire. Yeah. You think uh, uh you think the other two gonna show up? No, oh, for sure. There's no yeah. there's, there's, mm-hmm. I mean that's an easy one. That's why they're not yeah. showing it in the trailer because they don't wanna reveal too much, even though they're they're gonna probably wind up doing it before it yeah, comes out. If they show Spider Man being in Civil War, you know they're gonna show sure, Andrew yeah, Garfield and Toby. Fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, like I wanna I wish they should let us go in blind. They should. Because we know they're in there, but still, it would I the wanna, shock value would be more so. I want to feel that so bad in the movie theater. Like, it, it, hasn't, it hasn't been a moment in theater. Like that, like Deadpool when they, uh, they, didn't, they didn't say anything about the juggernaut. That was good. Yeah, it was. N- no. now, n- now, I'm not saying that the... the that, that the juggernaut himself was great, but by him just randomly appearing, yeah, 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 his appearance was good. Like you're like, what the me, hell? For me, the juggernaut. It was like out of nowhere. For me, when when Mandarin wasn't the real Mandarin in the movie, <laughs> I was pissed the fuck off. Like <laughs> you talking about the, <gasps> but at least it wasn't that dusty ass nigga they had playing. <laughs> so that, and that's the only reason I'm gonna <laughs> go see Chang Chang Chi. That's the only reason I'm going to go see Chang, Shang-Chi because the real Mandarin. To see the real man. I got to see my nigga. And I, and what's going to hurt the most, like, they're probably going to kill him or take him out. And I'm be like. One and done. I'm like, Iron Man 3 could have been this. Like, the whole time they're fighting, I'm going to be like, Iron Man could, and him could be could have been this. Like, like, if they don't throw no subtle hints at Iron Man or. Say how much he was a, 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 a somebody in his. Say he didn't get mentioned or something. Yeah, song he got. They better drop my Some nigga, bro. Man, what, bro? You come to miss the start, bro. You've been there. See, and this is why I'm glad we're doing this podcast now. All everybody that on my other videos, he can vouch for me. I've been an Iron Man fan since day one. Yeah, he, before the movies, like the come man, we be at books men in the back. I'm reading Iron Man. I'm watching the Iron Man TV show. This I was. When I seen Iron Man three trailer and heard the Mandarin's name, I lost my shit because I was like, "We here, and we done made like, it." Gotcha, bitch. And then they fucking <laughs> just said, <laughs> "Gotcha, bitch." <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Just pulling your leg. <laughs> hey, revert Uno Uno out. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was, bro, devastated. So. And I and and the fact that his ring, I don't even think his ring. They're gonna like give the ten rings the yeah the the properties that they had yeah like cause like that's why Tony had a suit to like hold the Infinity Gauntlet because he had already had a taste of the cosmic powers with the From Mandarin. The okay. So see, I don't know that much lore about that's uh, what I'm saying. Like Mr. he's Stark. able to like when he fights against the Infinity Gauntlet, he's like, oh, this is just a stronger version of. The Mandarin and stuff, so he can go and update a suit or something that he made to fight the Mandarin, or he go to like Thor's world and like use Uru metal to make some to 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 get zapped by the energy of the Infinity Stones. But we'll never see that, and I don't think they're gonna do that with Ironheart. And I they damn sure not gonna do a War Machine. No, yeah, she gonna they gonna hyper they gonna bring her for everything. But I I I just I want them to utilize War Machine. Like yeah, I know he can old his but character for he, sure. But he can do all the Stark stories now. Like he could be in Shang Chi and actually like, like he could have fought the Mandarin. Like after Shang Chi, instead of like putting the Mandarin at his dad, like they could have did a War Machine movie and they bumped and it, and and I would have been happy. Like. You know what I'm saying? Based like War Machine and the Mandarin. Like pick up that slack, which I'm happy that Armor Wars is gonna be in there, but I don't like that it's gonna be a Disney show. Because like I don't mind the Disney shows, but I like Armor you Wars. Did live action. Arm no, it's still live action, but oh, all, it is? yeah, like Arm all like you ain't seen none of the Disney shows? I mean I've seen um Loki but I don't know what's all of it that's coming out. So uh, everything been live action except for what if like everything's been like like the Captain America's uh, show. Yeah, I've seen Cap. We haven't seen Cap. It, I like like with uh, with Armor Wars, it got to be action packed every episode. Like they it, he so in the comic they fight so many versions of his suit that you can't be half assing this shit and like a bunch of talking two three episodes like they did Loki. Or just them chilling in the episode. No, nah, nigga, this nigga need to be out here standing on all ten toes for his dead homie, 
and be like, I need all this shit back and 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 taking these niggas out because Armor Wars is jumping. This well, it was called the Stark Wars in the comic, but Armor Wars was jumping, and and the fact that you can get Rhodey like that piece, like you know, his say his actual goodbyes to Tony, and then become the mantle that yeah. Iron Man was. But I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be like his last, like this is his last thing, and then go from there. And then it's Riri, which you know Riri's gonna be cool. I just want to know who's gonna be her, um, who's gonna be her damn AI, because Tony is her AI in the comics. Mm. Yeah. See, I'm not. I don't know a thing about Riri. <laughs> yeah, Riri, Riri slap. But they they use her in a way because they cause they kill off Tony, and because yeah, nobody stays dead in comics. Exactly, and that's another thing I hate comics, and and that's why they hate the manga company. Like, yeah, you seen all this stuff with Japanese and America like beefing, like the comic know. company. I'm gonna get to that. All right, so um, Riri when she like finally like okay, I'm gonna be Iron Man, and she makes her own suit and stuff. Well. It's a story where she meets like his mom and and um Pepper and all of them and then like um she reverse engineers his suit but he he has a fail safe in the suit and then he becomes her AI and then he starts training her. So like it'll be two Iron Man's on screen and he's just controlling the suit through the AI tech and she's in another suit and like he's her sidekick. But he he is like you know telling her also like what's going on right right and then eventually they resurrect him or whatnot but yeah it's a long st- it's a it's a long story but it's just stuff like that that I'm like well what they gonna do with that is Rhodey gonna be her AI or is he finna go off or are they gonna somehow use Jarvis again which I don't think they're gonna do that. And then it's like, or is Friday going to be her AI? Like, is she going to reverse engineer? Mm-hmm. Or they could do some dope and make Pepper her AI. And to me, that would be fire. Instead of have Pepper, like, doing what he did in the comics. But I feel like they wrote Pepper off and, like, she was going to raise their, their daughter and be it. I could see that. Uh, But, yeah, so apparently, like, a lot of, like, uh, comic book creators, Saying that Japanese is ruined and that it's all sexual and that's why they get so many sales, but in reality they're just making good stories and like their stories have impacts and like they don't undo everything at the end like like uh uh mangas are more like concrete yeah. than uh than comics yeah like comics, death means something yeah and death, death actually means something yeah like like Naruto you. You know where to start Naruto, and you know where is it, and you know where Naruto ends, and where Boruto starts. Because um, American comics are more, um, more, it's more, more money involved. As far as like they want to keep it going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, they want to keep keep the they want to milk it as much as they, as they possibly exactly can. Exactly. Like if they, and it kind of dilutes the quality of exactly the, like with with American comics. Like you may have a good story, but that writer don't know how to end like the story and so like you'll get to where they wrote themselves in a hole and then give themselves like some cheap outcome and it's just like so we did all this for that and it's just like you get the highs and lows like the original infinity gauntlet story trash like it was dope for its time but it was trash but it was trash right. but the new infinity story was dope but the outcome is that the the universe resets, and it's just like that's track. Like, I well, which I, I can kind of see how they kind of how why they write like that, just because they want to want to be able to like um, give people their own, like a, give a, a writer their own storyline with these characters, and then mm-hmm. just re, and then rehash it out. But but I, I understand like that, that part, but it's but it but it does dilute. Like, but they, that's the thing that they rehash everything. Yeah, like like the creativity I'm, is is gone. Exactly, like they rehash everything, and then, like, what's what's a great, what's a great? Let me think of something. Like, um, or like the like, like the X Men story where they all go into space and they all kill themselves. So, Janine, I, well, I forgot what they're doing, 
but they basically like kill themselves to make sure something doesn't happen on Earth, and they all do it, and they go out like fucking G's, and it's like the battle of life. Like, it's it's one of the it's one of those X Men stories. Well, if they ever do this in the MCU, it'll be fucking dope. But they as soon as they did that, the next issue all on was all reborn, yeah. and it was just like, why did you build this up? For six months. And give us these impactful ass death and then they're back. And then the you just reborn them on their, um, their, uh, no, that's nothing. Like, Krakoa, what, like, Professor X had just made Krakoa, but he made, like, this, it basically, he, he basically took this, um, what, what, what's the Inhumans thing where when they die, they get, not Inhumans, Celestials, Eternals. When they die, they get reborn, like, at, this, at the exact moment with the same memories they just had. Like, whatever backup copy was in the machine, and they die, and then that copy gets reborn. Well, that thing was on Krakoa. And so then, when they all died, they all started coming back to life with the same memories, with the same memories and shit. And, yeah, okay. But they didn't have a recollection of what happened in space. That's the only thing that was missing. So, like, it never happened? <laughs> it never happened. And it's just like... Like, why would you do that? Like, why would you do that? And then they get mad at, like, shit like My Hero. And that's it, it, My Hero right now, but Marvel in the anime world. Which, have you seen the Deadpool crossover? With what? Marvel takes place with My Hero. They got a Deadpool crossover? Yeah, all my, all my save Deadpool and bumped with Thanos and beat that nigga ass. Like, that nigga. Wait, what? You got to send me the link to oh, this man, shit. Oh, man, that nigga Thanos went. <laughs> That nigga so Deadpool in Japan with the big hero six. And they and that bitch bumping. And like, you know, Tony and Cap send him over there, like, look, you take over this. And he was like, Oh, so am I an Avenger? He was like, No. <laughs> they, he, you were uh Samurai the Samurai Six, I uh, mean the uh, Big Hero Six or whatever. He was like, You're gonna be the new leader of them, you gotta watch them. And he was like, So I'm um, an intern Avenger? And they was like, No. And then so he going through Japan, he's like this place is awesome, and you know all this shit. I never knew all this stuff, and he like downtown, uh, Akihabara shopping and shit. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, all the weaves and otaku. He did otaku. He's like, all the weaves and otaku. I see why they love this place. So he's sitting here just chilling, and then like uh, one of the big hero six pull up, and they take him to the headquarters and all, and then they tell him about, uh, yeah. So some people got superhero powers, but the other half of Japan they got these things called quirks, and I'm just like quirks. No, they didn't. And so, like, they give him, he give him, like, the run through of, like, what's going on in Japan. It takes place before My Hero start, when All Might is in his prime. Prime, okay. So, and I think it, it takes place during Vigilance. Prime Might. I think it takes place during Vigilance. Well, anyway, somehow Thanos comes down to Earth. So, apparently, My Hero takes place, it's in the future of Marvel. So, all the, I want to say all, like, the heroes in Japan, like, in the, you know, the new comics that's going to come up. All the heroes are like plays, plays of all the heroes that's in America are have risen after like Mar like the Marvel heroes have died. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Right. That's what I'm thinking. Like, because horror, you know, horror coach is a stickler about continuity. Like everybody thinks shit ain't in the continuity. It is. Like the movies are in the continuity. Everything is in the continuity. Everything, everything's got a place. Yeah, except the only thing that doesn't have a place is Vigilantes because he's not over it. Over it, yeah. He just gives, like, he just like, oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah, but Vigilantes now, takes place beforehand anyway. Yeah, so they can but a lot, of, a lot of stuff that's in Vigilantes have been slowly creeping into Creeping away. into, yeah, yeah, I know. Like, they, they, uh, showed, uh, they showed, um, they showed the bunny girl. Morocco, yeah. they uh, her. Marco, Mar uh, yeah, Marco, like, she, like, they seen her when she was young yeah, in younger, Vigilantes. yep, yeah. But, uh, but I think he got that from her. I'm talking about like um, uh, you know the the the, the little wheelie dude, uh, the bad the enemy dude, the uh, damn, um, uh, you know in the episode the dude that was like telling Hawks like he's over him. Yeah, yeah. That dude, he's in Vigilantes. Like he's a Vigilantes character. Like he comes from Vigilantes. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure it's him. I gotta go back and double check. But um. So some some go down and then Big Hero Six, Thanos crash and they in they in Japan bumping and Deadpool's like, oh God, if you save me, I swear I won't do something stupid. And then like Thanos knocked the shit out of Deadpool, 
And then Dad, Dad was like, this is it. I'm out. I'm done for it. And then he, he just, he like opens his eyes and he's flying. And he's like, what? Am I dead? What's going on? He looks up. I am here. <laughs> and all my lands with Deadpool. And he puts them down. And he's like. So this is a comic? This is a manga, bro. I'm and at the guy. He fucking like, it's called Dead, it's Deadpool something. I'm sure I can find it. I'm uh, sure I can find it. But he he sits Deadpool down. And like the big hero six all them. Them niggas beat the fuck up. And then. Obviously, they can't fight no goddamn Thanos. No, and then all my cheesing like a bitch in front of <laughs> Thanos. And Thanos is like, who is this nigga? He's like cracking his nuggets and shit. And then all my like, I and all my, and then this nigga do a like United States or smash, bro. That nigga Thanos said, oh, yeah, it's time to fight. And then you just see, like, you know that move he did against Big No Move? Yeah. Man, they ain't that big turn, bro. Like, wing, 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 like, Thanos, Thanos eats some of his. But that nigga all my life, oh, let me turn it up to 100%. And when he did that, that nigga Thanos got swept. That nigga all my, the truth. Oh, that Prime nigga, Might? Yeah, I'm sure that nigga. That nigga bumping like is on another level. And it was, bruh. Good gas. Good bruh. Gas. Premium. Bruh. Bruh. That nigga all my, the truth, bruh. And when I seen it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's loud. But I love that they picked. Marvel, cause I every time I watch my hero, it feels like Marvel characters, like how they do things. And you know, they had a um, uh, they had a uh, in my hero, they mentioned uh, like a something like a Spider Man hero in America. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if, if they throw subtle hints yeah, at they, Marvel, they threw something in there, and so there's Marvel, like, oh, a popular American hero who swings. From yeah, the yeah, and like that's what, and, and they're hinting at that the American hero. It's like a cap, like Captain America, like, and then it's like it's like Captain America. It's supposed to be getting some um, American heroes in the manga. It's supposed to be no, coming. No, that's to what him. I'm talking about. It's like they're gonna be modeled like after like after like, some of the the big Marvel people. Yeah, like, based like, off them to some degree. It's but it takes place after all of them dead. So like, say so in the, so in the Deadpool comic they mentioned Endgame. So I'm picturing like it's like the son of Captain America. Or like the son of Iron, well, the daughter okay. of Iron Man and shit like that. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Nice stuff to clip. Hmm? I think you got enough stuff to clip to make something. Though. No, I'm gonna I'm drop the whole episode like this. Well, I'm gonna take out like the sound like this, like the sound stuff. Take out. Right. But uh, yeah, it's called Deadpool Samurai. Deadpool Samurai. Yeah, and Horikoshi drew it. Like drew the, the, the chapter with uh oh, oh my shit. Yeah, like it's actual like, <laughs> yeah like I gotta I, I gotta read it man. no like it's actual all my like yeah. actual all oh, my right. powers like <laughs> and he said like he uh he always wanted to do something like that and like it was like his dream to like see oh man yeah yeah like it's where he saved them and stuff. It ain't. Oh, that's actual. Oh my. Yeah, like Horikoshi drew the the chapter where him and Thanos fight. Horikoshi drew it. Oh god. Yeah. I gotta watch. I thought you. I thought it was like some fan made. No, it's actual. actual. You thought I was playing? Like you thought? No, nigga. Nigga, everything over here facts, nigga. Like no, bro. Like actual. Like goddamn. All might say actual Deadpool in. See. Like he was like we'll counterattack him at the same time. Like, yeah, he was beating Thanos ass. And defeat Thanos. Like beat his ass, bro. Like I'm finna i I'm finna try to find what he did the United States smash on this. Like I was shook as fuck. And that's why like um like Marvel cut a deal with uh Viz Media, so Marvel's technically in like they're finna they're coming out with a manga for Shonen Jump. And it's gonna it's gonna be a Marvel manga, but Deadpool was like the testing waters to see, and it's been selling. Selling, okay. And so when he he had like they had reached a certain number, and then they was like uh like Marvel was like this is around the time, like dead uh not this is around the time that my hero was picking up over here, and they was like can is there a way we can like you know do a crossover, and then they did it last year. Yeah, like he was praising. He was like, oh my gosh, you're so cool. Oh my. Like, uh, yeah, see, like, all that Horikoshi drew it. Like, that nigga smashing that nigga. Oh, shit, he's so Beating his ass, and that's all Horikoshi, bro. Oh, 
Yeah. You know what? We should probably we should start a an anime or a manga, um, like reading one that we both haven't seen specifically mm-hmm. to to review on on here on here. We got we, we can find a lit one that, mm-hmm. that neither one of us ain't seen. And just start. And that then, ain't got no show either. Uh, it can have a show. It can have a show. But as long as we find something that's good, uh, we need to find something that like we 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 review and then we can see the potential in it. Right. Because when it do pick up, people can come back. Come and come watch back into and watch, watch the thing. Us, yeah. You know, and review everything. Because like everybody jumping on Tokyo Revengers right now. That's dead. Tokyo Revengers. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I mean. We can have you ever read, read Chainsaw Man? Uh, read, I ain't read it, but I already got things saved when it come out. Come out because I haven't read it neither. But everybody, it's something like for Neverworld and all them already, already like on, covered. On. Hmm. Let me try this one. It like it's it's a chapter where he put a big ass crater in that bitch. Yeah, all my all my was in that bitch turn. I was shook. I was shocked that they even did that. And the fact that they said uh, featured horror coach, I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was supposed to come out on the app. It ain't out on the app yet. Like, I was that's what I was waiting on because I just read those couple chapters, but it's been ongoing for a minute. Uh, How much you pay for this? $1,200. Okay. Right at $1,200. It's got a 1660 Ti in it. I wanted a twenty, a twenty sixty or twenty seventy, but everything that was like twenty sixty, twenty seventy and up, the hard drive was like two hundred fifty six gigs mm. or something. And this one, everything is hot. Like I got a one terabyte hard drive, I got an i seven, um, like the other ones would have like i fives and shit. Um, I got like sixteen gigs of RAM. The other ones would have like four eight. And I was just like, that sucks. Like they was, I knew why they was doing that, but it, and then when I looked up the sixteen sixty, it's like it can do everything at ultra settings, ten eighty p. Good enough for me. That's what you said. That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The only thing it don't got is ray tracing. I was just like, well, I got a PS five, so I don't really care ray tracing. So, cause when I play some ray tracing, it's gonna be on my PS five. I may get a desktop so I can like. So I can just have it set up and then just throw this in the bag or something after that. But um, let's wrap it up. All right, y'all. That was the pilot episode. Uh, pilot one. episode. I uh, appreciate y'all stopping by and checking us out. Yep. At four o'clock. We gotta get. We gotta get uh my man some some couch etiquette. Yeah, I do. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to trying to stay up here. I've been up. Uh, How long you been up? Probably since. But like six in the morning. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. Why? My sleep schedule messed up. Mine is too. But I got. And I work there a shift. But yeah. But I work. Uh, it's like a swing shift. So you don't. You don't ever really get used oh, yeah, to. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. To yeah. to. Yeah. To being up late. Well, at least you're off to Monday. Yeah, I am off into Monday. Yeah, I'm gonna crash. I'm probably gonna hop on the game a little. Oh, that's, let me touch on that real quick. Call of Duty Vanguard gonna be jumping. That's gonna be jumping. Like that damn that new game mode they had was dope. So the new game mode in the alpha, in the alpha, you is you you is is fucking one, one two three six teams of two, and it's four matches going on at the same time. And you can see other matches going on at the same time, and but you get so say your team has twelve twelve lives, and the the matches are all like two minutes. You however many lives you take away from the other team, that drops them in rank. And so the next round, say they got say say I got say we got twelve and the other team got twelve. And we get them down to nine. So now they drop down. So then the next round, we don't face them no more. They go face somebody else that got like nine or seven lives. And then it, you go all the way down to everybody get to zero. And then it's like uh, King of the Hill, except like uh, you go all the way up to like the final four and then the, the you know, the, the finals. And then you win. And then while, but while you're playing it, you get money 
to unlock weapons or upgrade your weapon. And then what's cool about Call of Duty Vanguard is that you can have um, futuristic attachments like holographic sights and like barrels on your gun. Like they, I don't, like Vanguard, like people sleep on Sledgehammer, but that idea alone is pretty fucking dope and ain't never been done before. And I'm excited. Like, I know everybody's hype for, like, Battlefield 19, well, no, Battlefield 2042, which is going to sell because it's Battlefield, but Battlefield 5 left a bad taste in my mouth. But that Call of Duty Vanguard was slap. Like, I was snoozing on it, but that, 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 I don't know, it's getting copped. I think I'm copping that. Like, I love Black Ops Cold War, but that one getting copped. Like, that one got to get copped. Especially World War Two, I just love World War Two stuff. Like, we don't get enough of that. But um, we finna head out. It is your boy Lunar Neos. Right, it's Kentaku right here, cuz. You say it with your chest, big dog. It's Kentaku. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm I, I feel more confident whenever I have the the final name because I like. Well, know. it's on air. It's on here today. His name is Kentaku. Kentaku for now. No, ain't no for now. It's Kentaku. All right? And we here. And this is me. Y'all put it in the comments. Anyway. See y'all later. All right, then. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>